Ah, hello everyone. I'm finally starting to see people signing on. Hello, hello. I wanted to do a quick palette review for you guys. Remember you guys saw me unbox this guy? Well, I've been playing with it. Uh, thank you. So, I'm waiting for a few more people to sign on, and uh, I know it's the middle of the afternoon on a Friday, so it may be kind of hard. Um, you're going to hear my kid, and you're going to hear his cartoons in the back, so my apologies. But, I uh, wanted to give you guys an honest review on the palette. So, thanks, Vic. Uh, the eyeshadow today is this palette, so... Watch your streams. Ah, well, welcome back. <laughs> So the eyeshadow I have on today is from the ColourPop My Little Pony palette. I have been screwing around with this palette since I got it. There you are, Willow. Willow, were you able to get this shipped out there to you or no? Because I wasn't sure if they did or didn't. I'm almost, I was po almost positive they did. Oh, thank you. I was almost positive they shipped internationally. But shipping. So shipping was high on this then, huh? shit because i really would like to see you review this on your channel whoa wow that's high that's yeah but that's pretty normal coming from the states out to you guys because anytime i have to send stuff out to tony it costs me about 20. so it's kind of a pain in the butt but uh for you guys to ship to us it's not that expensive for us to ship to use it's like through the roof but i would have thought ColourPop was using like i don't know fedex or dhl or something better than a regular postal service to send it out to you guys. All right, guys, so what I have in my eyes today is all from the ColourPop Nostalgic My Little Pony palette, and I am in love with the palette. Um, the box, as you know. Whew, the damn Jaclyn Hill palette, man. Okay, I've watched a few of your makeup view videos and stuff like that, and I get a kick out of them, so I would have loved to seen you do this. Um, I don't know, maybe we can figure out a way to, to get it to work or something, or... See if we can find a cheaper way to get it shipped. I mean, it's just a small box. It's really tiny. Like, here's a standard cigarette box. You know, like, it's really not that big. I mean, and it's light. I absolutely love this palette. I don't know about the Jaclyn Hill one because I didn't buy that chick's palette. <laughs> um, I was debating it, though. I am still debating buying the Jaclyn Hill palette, but I have to rewatch your video on it. I've seen too many ups and downs on that palette that I'm kind of nervous, but... Okay, back to this palette. Oh, thank you. Awesome packaging. It's got all the colors on the back here, so I can kind of just look at this and tell you what I'll be swatching. All the nostalgia ponies on the front, and also on the back is all the, the names of everything. Um, the names are basically the ponies. On the inside, you got the... It's a little sticker here. Well, it feels kind of like a sticker. I don't know. It's kind of raised a little bit, so it may be a sticker. It may be part of the, the thing. I think it's a sticker. Of the My Little Pony ColourPop, and then you have all of the shades, which you can see I have been messing with. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quickie swatch of everything. I'm just going to go right across top, 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 okay? And we'll do a quick swatch. I'll tell you what I use them for and if I use them in this look. And then we'll go ahead and go from there. I have done four o'clock in the morning. I have ripped this palette out and played with it and done different eyeshadows and things like that just to have a good time. Um, thankfully to a couple of women who I had befriended uh, through social media and through my YouTube channel, I only wore nude eyeshadow. Like I only wore browns and nudes because I didn't want to call any attention to the big face. You know, when you're a big woman, you don't want to call attention. You want everything to be kind of, you know, don't look at me too much. I'm, I'm all fat now. I'm old, you know. Nah, these ladies, they wear the boldest, brightest colors, and they look beautiful. So, fuck that, man. Fat, bright, beautiful. That's what we're going to be doing from now on. So let's start with the first row. Um, I'm assuming, yep, goes this way. All right. First color up here on the top. This here is uh, <laughs> butterscotch. I don't understand why they would call that color butterscotch. Mm -mm. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, because butterscotch is this one. So we got to go the opposite way. 
So the first color that I'm going to be swatching for you for you is Bluebell, which is kind of a grayish, light, whitish color. It's like a mute kind of gray. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know if it's my favorite, but I used it all over my whole eye after I put my primer on. And there you have it. That is number one. Finger swatching is kind of cheating because you're going to wind up using a brush, but ColourPop will even tell you on some of their colors like their shimmer shades and stuff like that. Don't ever do that, but the matte colors go very chalky. They tell you never to blow on your palettes because it's germy. But I mean, I spray them down with alcohol anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, uh, oh, he's running around here. <laughs> All right, so the first one was the Blue Bell. The second one is Starshine, which is this orange kind of coppery color here, which you really got to get your finger in there. And they kind of all, that color right here is the next one we're doing. They kind of all like, I don't know. Some of them blend perfectly. Some of them you really got to pack on. Like I would run that over about two more times on my eyelid. And it would look really like metallic-y. Because I had it on the other night and it looked really pretty. But with my finger, it's not really doing any justice. Like, you know, just doing like a, an arm swatch, it's not really doing it. Next color is Blossom. It's another kind of burnty orange color. Um, I really like that one. I think that one was really pretty. Yes, yes, yes. It's like a semi-satin, yes. Um, it's like these are the semi-satin ones and the metallics are at the bottom. Like, I'll, wait, wait till I show you the metallics. So here's that one. And I actually put the two of them together and added uh, a little bit of pink to it. Like, you'll see the pinky one in a little bit. And it was perfect. It was really pretty. So that would, they, those two together were gorgeous. And it was just like, you know, I was going through a very bright, shimmery moment. Okay, next color is Butterscotch. Because we got to go backwards on this. I don't know why it's different on the back of this. So it's basically like a muted kind of shimmery white. It's not like a Butterscotch color whatsoever. It's a shimmery, sorry, the truck going by. It's just a shimmery muted white. It's nothing special, but it looks nice over. Okay. It looks nice over a color, so that works. All right, now we're into the second row. The first color in the second row is Flutterby. It is this purpley looking one right here. This one, yeah, this one can be put on with a brush no problems but if you really want it on nice and like thick i would definitely say use your fingers this is, these two right here are two of my favorite i love them hold on let me wipe my hand off <laughs> i'm using a uh, a wipe to try and get the makeup off my fingers as i'm doing it it's not working because i got to keep drying my hand as we're going I will say those two matte purples are my absolute most favorite. This shimmer purple, you really got to get into it. Like, you got to dig into it. Um, I have a raffle coming up. I believe we're going to do it tonight on Facebook. Um, if you're in the U.S., you can buy into the raffle, and then we'll do a random number generator. And somebody is going to win this palette, the peanut butter and jelly palette, and a bunch of other uh, makeup stuff and all kinds of stuff. I mean, we have eyeliner from Limelight, the liquid eyeliners. Uh, like I said, peanut butter jelly palette, this palette. By the way, that color was minty. The next color is Sky Dancer, which is that next purple one. Uh, if you want to play and you're in the UK, it's probably going to cost about $20 for me to ship it out to you. And you're going to have to cover your shipping. But if you're in the U.S., then I cover the shipping if you win. But uh, we do raffles all the time on Facebook. Maybe there's a way that we can get this out so Willow can, Willow can do it on her channel. In a cheaper way, though. I'm going to try and look into that because I'm dying to see the looks that you would do with this. So this was the other purple, and that was the Sky Dancer. So that was the other one that I'm in love with, that kind of purpley color. They are messy. Like, I got to keep cleaning it. And the other problem is they kind of, like, raise and break apart. So you have to tap it back in 
And that bothers the shit out of me. I don't want to have to lose half of my eyeshadow, but for a $16 palette, you know, you can't bitch. All right, next color is the orangey color. It's the matte kind of orange pigmenty kind of deal. They're, they're, this one's chalky as all hell. It's called Applejack, after the pony. They all have the nostalgic pony names too. Like I love that, but they didn't put the dragon. Remember the little pink dragon with the purple, the pink with the green hair? It was like a little purple pinky dragon. He's not on here, so that's the only thing they're missing. Applejack is a really pretty color. I used that with the other two shimmery ones. All right, now we're gonna go back into the actual metallic-y bottom row. Hello, Rachel R. How are you? All right, so we're reviewing the ColourPop My Little Pony palette here. You, you do know that Twilight is my absolute most favorite color out of this palette. Absolute most favorite. And yeah, Twilight was one of my favorite ponies too. So let's see, the first color we're going to go into for the metallic-y looking ones, which I, hi Tony, which I don't think is a metallic whatsoever, but they say it is. It's called Princess Sparkle. It's this black one right here. It's not really black. And it's not really a sparkle shimmer. It's kind of like, almost like a muted, I don't know. Like, it's real like, it almost looks like a matte to me. So I'm not sure why they, they call it a metallic. I mean, I don't really see much metallicness to it. Dude, what are you doing, doo, doo I mean, can you see any metallic to that? I don't see any metallics to that. But the, the next three shades I'm going to show you, they are metallics. Like, they're beautiful. All right. Next one is Snuzzle. I don't remember that character. S-N-U-Z-Z-L-E, Snuzzle. But that is this gray one right here. Unless Snuzzle is the name of the dragon, I don't remember his name. So this silver metallic right here, that's pretty. Look at that. That is really, really pretty. I really love that one. Wholeheartedly love that one. My other favorite one right here is uh, Firefly. Firefly is that one. Which, it, it just falls apart in the pan. So, see look, all I did was swirl around it once and it's all breaking apart in the pan. You gotta put it back in and pat it down. Snow was the white one with the pink hair. Oh, okay. Let me see if he's on the front here. Yep, there she is. All right, so that one that just falls apart in the pan, like you can even see, like the pan is all shitty and crappy now. It's all outside of the pan, like it just falls to pieces. But it's beautiful over any one of the shadows. Like it has a green hue to it. That's it next to the silver. Yeah, that one is an extremely loose press. Like it's really loose press. It's it's almost as if they didn't pack it down at all like it's not only that one is the problem one the rest of them the mats are so much somewhat chalky they can be dealt with the rest of them are packed down perfect now here is twilight twilight is my favorite color i have twilight and the um firefly on my lid with both of the purples both of the matte purples and the top white one as a all over this one on my arm is not going to do it justice. It's not going to look as beautiful as it looks on the eyelid. So that's what it looks like on my finger, kind of two-toned. But when you take the loosely pressed crappy one and you put it over this green one here and kind of like blend it in, it gives it a whole like new color. You see how it kind of goes? Twilight, yep. So you gotta clean your palette off every time you mess with it. But for 16 freaking dollars, man, you can't go wrong. They went with the nostalgia ponies. <laughs> you know, they went with our nostalgia Tony, your ass. They went with our nostalgia ponies. They made it really cool. No, no, no. Oh no, sorry guys, sorry guys. Okay, sorry about that. I got a phone call. <laughs> Okay, $16, you can't go wrong. I mean, unfortunately, if you are out of the States, you can go wrong because $16 and then 20, 20 Q is not, you know. 
Yeah, I got a phone call, unfortunately. But uh, it was Shauna. Shauna needs to jump on now and, and uh, hang out with us. But uh, Shauna is one of the reasons, one of the women that kind of made me feel like it's okay to put on the bright colors and to want to, you know, do all this to my eyeballs and just, you know, be happy. Because she's a big woman, just like me. You know, we, we wear close to the same sizing. And, uh, do the whole collection, including some lipsticks and highlighters. Yeah, I didn't buy the whole collection because, tell you the truth, I'm not going to wear it. So I figured what was the point. If I was just buying it just for, like, reasons to play with it, it was a waste of money for me. $138. Brushes I'll never use, you know. I mean, I have a plethora of makeup brushes. I mean, I was, even, I was on the phone with uh, Shona the other night, and we were going through all my makeup and stuff, like, in my office, because my office is now disheveled as all hell. And I, gotta, I love the box. And they put all the colors on the back as well, too. So it makes it easier. Except for when you pull the palette out, the colors are backwards than they are on the palette. It's funny. Like, I couldn't follow it at first. But uh, I'm going to smoke a cigarette while we talk. But I got to lean this way, though, because the window's open over there. Um, why Boog sits in his captain chair over there. He took the recliner. But we were going through, and I was like, oh, look at this brush. Oh, I got this brush. Oh, I got this brush. I got so many brushes, and that's because I belong to Ipsy. Hush. I belong to Ipsy where you pay $10 a month and they send you all kinds of like little makeup samples and there's always a full size item. Usually that full size item is some sort of makeup brush. So I wind up with a lot of makeup brushes. Yeah, you know, I mean for $16 it would make an amazing hush. He knows cheese, he doesn't know hush. It would make an amazing Christmas gift for like our age bracket because cheese, yes, cheese. Because we all remember, you know, the nostalgic ponies. The other palette that's available for My Little Ponies is the newer ponies. It's, um, <laughs> you want them? I got his box ready. We poked a few more holes in it so you can breathe better. But, uh, Oh god, no, I have not seen their last minute Halloween set. What'd they put in it? I gotta know this now. What is in this last minute Halloween set? <laughs> Jeez. It's all yells all day long now. But, uh, man. Oh, Phoenix Rising, okay. I have that on its way. Phoenix Rising, Skull, Skull Dudgery, and a Rainbow, wait, Rainbow Skull Knot Wrap, Phoenix Rising, and Skull Dudgery, that's it? A big pumpkin I've never seen before. Did they do a big pumpkin bubble bar, maybe? I'm gonna have to go check it out now. Four products. Okay. Allie! Allie, we were just going over the palette. So if you are not busy later, you can see the replay of me swatching every single freaking color. And the do's and, like, you know, the pros and cons about it. It's going to be about 20 quid. Ugh. You know, I'm out. I'm, I'm, I've spent too much money with Lush. I really didn't even spend that much with Lush, but I got how to get three different orders. Because the very last kitchen order was my unicorn horns, and I went on to buy two of them. First order, no unicorn horns when I checked out. Goddamn unicorn horns. But they're not here. So, I'm wondering, I got Christmas stuff, I got Halloween stuff, but I didn't get those unicorn horns. If they don't send those unicorn horns, oh, I'm gonna rip a new one into them. I'm just not pleased with Lush anymore. I only hate... I know. I know everybody's swooning over all their new products and this and that. I've just lost... Okay, Magic Bath Bomb, Skullduggery Bath Bomb, Jack-O Bath Bomb, and Phoenix Rising Bath Bomb. Really? So what, is Jack-O the big pumpkin bath bomb? They just made a lot... Are you singing? Come over here and sing. Cause it, so did they just get 
No, and I didn't get the man. If send it to me through like Facebook or through Inst well, actually Instagram, I barely ever check, and it doesn't give me my notifications for Instagram anymore. Um, but no, I didn't on YouTube. I almost never get the messages. Something's wrong with my YouTube message thing. It friggin' holds everything back, and then I'll get a message like six months from now, and I'm like, well, that says it was six months old, so I didn't get this one. Oh, you put two up now? And is it through the channel that you're on right now? Ioni Sarah? So all I gotta do is just click that? Okay, I'll check them out. But, uh, well, like I was saying about Lush, um, all their new stuff, I'm kind of like blah about, you know? Like the, uh, man, I don't know if it went up yet. No, tonight you guys will see it. The Christmas sweater bath bomb. It was, for me, it was a dud, all right? It just, it really was. Like, it didn't go off the way a bath bomb goes off. It was beautiful in the beginning. It foamed up and creamed up. But then it did nothing. Literal nothing. It sat in the water, and it was the most slowest bath bomb till I got pissed off and crushed it. Because it was so slow. I was like, what the hell am I doing with this? So I crushed it, and then it was pretty. Um, it's very clovey. Very clovey. So I don't know if it's a scent that I would love. And I'm kind of hoping the Santa uh, baby or whatever it was, um, the red shower gel. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't smell too much like it. Like, maybe it lights up on the clove a little bit. Oh, hang on, Ellie. What'd you say? By the way, conditioner from Night so. Nightwing Bath and Body, friggin' F is good. You wanna know how current collection I only have 10 to 12 bath bombs. Santa's Christmas smells just like vanilla Coke. All right, good, because I ordered a bottle of that, which that is in my next order. <laughs> uh, that's the red one we're talking about, right? Because I have that on its way then. Um, but it was when I went to check the products that like came with, like we're in the same category. Um, Quite mild. Okay, good. The products that were in the same category of Santa's sweater or Christmas sweater, whatever it was, that bath bomb, that shower gel was in it. So I'm like, shit, does that smell like the clove? My little rant I sent you on Facebook. Like, no, I didn't, I didn't even check yet. I just saw as I was about to go live that a, a thing came in from you. And then I was like, shit. <laughs> I could have read it, but it was a voice clip, so I didn't get to hear it yet. But no, I didn't hear the rant yet. I love when you talk. It's right, you got, man, okay, Tony has a very strong Scottish accent. So when he talks to me, I gotta play it like once or twice. Cause sometimes he'll go fast and I can't catch it. I have no idea what he's saying. But it's, you gotta, the, you gotta see Bugs's face when he hears it. Bugs will come over and he's like, what's that? That's mommy's friend with the accent. And he thinks I have an accent. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna get hit with copyright for this. But I'm not gonna shut the kids' cartoons off simply because we're bullshitting. They just lost some new bath oils. Some strange bonds for 75 feet to put them in. Uh, I wanna do a set now and travel to high tours. Get off the ferry. Any place I should put on there? Rudy and Dean's. You got, Matt, you know when you step right off the ferry. It's like the little bar, Rudy and Dean's, that's right there on the strip. It's right on Bay Street. Like, you know where the 120th is? If you just walk down that next block, there's that little bar and grill that says Rudy and Dean's. Definitely make a stop there. Well, you can't go in and drink yet, so it's not like you can go in and order a, order a drink and just sit down for a minute. But, uh... I know the guy, one of the owners in there, the blonde, the big blonde guy, he's real sweet. If you want to go in and just say, hey, you know, I'm trying to do my little YouTube channel thing. You think I can just, you know, film a little bit of the place? He'll, mm -hmm. he's fine with it. He'll let you do it. And then Rudy and Dean's is the only place on Staten Island, New York, that uh, sells aged steak, aged meat. And it's like one of the best things you'll ever try. It's so good. Yeah, no, here in the States, you got to be 21 and older to drink. So, like, they'll let her in because she's not, you know, you haven't hit 18 yet, right? Anyhow, um, if you're 18 or younger, 
They'll let you in. Free! They'll let you in just because they serve food, but uh, due to the alcohol and anything like that, they will card you intently. <laughs> they even carded me, and I've been going there since I came home. That's one of my favorite places. Me and my brother go all the time. But uh, they carded me, and I'm like, I'm almost 40! You just know my whole family! <laughs> you want my damn license? I gotta go to the car. <laughs> Bree, we were talking about the palette, the ColourPop one. Girl, get your hands on this one. I'm telling you, it, it's awesome. It's amazing. Is anybody getting excited for a pearl party tomorrow night? Because I am all excited to do pearl party tomorrow night. I cannot wait. Why are you laying down on the floor? Do you need a nap? He just grabbed the pillow and went and laid down. It's awesome. Like, that's what I have on my eyes now. And only now is it starting to somewhat, like, transfer a little. And I've had it on for, like, five hours. And it's starting to do just a slight bit of transfer. <laughs> Those pearls, girl. But uh, I'm all excited now about uh, the pearl stuff because I got... Um, my shipment was actually delayed from today, and he said they said it will be here tomorrow morning. So UPS is going to have my shipment here tomorrow morning. I have enough oysters to cover tomorrow's show, but I have some new sterling silver pieces coming in tomorrow, which were supposed to be here today. I didn't get into the show. I applied to other jobs in Staten Island. Okay, well... Yeah, sure. I signed on while you were shopping, so I thought you were going to be longer. <laughs> what? I thought you were going to be longer in the store, but and then I remember, wait, no, you only had to pick up diced tomatoes. Um, but we were talking about the color pot palette, this one, and that I am in love with it. Um, oh, thank you. See, Willow, you, man, I really, I wanted to see what you did with this one. Oh, uh, can you get your hands on, well, actually, it's a little more expensive, though. It's like 29 I think it is, $30 for the other pony palette. But that would be one that I'd want to see what you can do with, the other pony one. Um, I was debating saving up my money to get that one. I want the glitter uh, palette. What the hell is that? You took my whole good thing. <sighs> God. Uh, what the hell are we talking about? I wanted the, the uh, Glitter Bomb palette, I think it's called. It's got the black on one side and the white on the other, and then it's got all the glitter shades in the center. I really wanted that one, but now I'm thinking maybe I don't like that. You know, maybe I, I like, like, the Urban Decay iridescent kind of shade shifter ones. I like those. <laughs> you think he's cute, just wait. Wait until he's here screaming bloody murder and you can't even hear yourself think. Don't, no, don't! You don't press in on it, you don't break it. You're not little, you have weight. Oh, right to the head. He just dunked himself. You guys see what I did to his, to his hair? I gave him a mom haircut. Uh, yeah, I love the two tones. Bring out new 352. I have never bought a Morphe palette. I got accepted to take classes for a new job. Woohoo! Okay. Tomorrow, only work colleges are starting to become hooked. I didn't use a bowl, but. Your yes please palette. That's a Morphe palette. Okay, I gotta get a Morphe palette. Um, Cause they're, they're not expensive really. They're pretty inexpensive and there's a mess load of shades in them. So I really gotta invest in at least one Morphe palette. But I like the two tone color stuff. Like that new like Urban Decay has them. I mean this palette kind of has the bottom shades that were kind of, you know, transitioning. Yeah, I've never gotten one. So I'm gonna start doing eyeshadows again. I decided. 
Well, I am glad you decided because I'm going to need you to make me a shade that says Corinne. It needs to be a signature me shade. I uh, I got to see some of the makeup that Shona made, um, like being used on a on a model, and this chick did some good shit with that that makeup. What are you doing, Bug? He has destroyed the house. <laughs> but uh, I mean, like, there's toys everywhere. Yeah, she made some awesome fucking eyeshadows, man. You gotta see, Shona, you gotta send Brie um, the pictures of the girl who modeled your eyeshadows. Fall into the forest is pretty. Lush are also relaunching their makeup. Man, I won't fuck with Lush, Lush makeup anymore. I have the eyeshadow uh, triangle thing, the jewel, the eyeshadow jewel. And I thought that was an amazing concept. You take a little brush to put it on lightly, or if you want a more in-depth color, you actually close your eye and run it over your eye. But I didn't realize that you had to find a matching powder kind of eyeshadow to put over that because it will show up up here and up here and up here and up here and it will melt everywhere if you have a hooded eye. It's crazy, I never wear makeup. I don't know where to get makeup. That won't be expensive. BHcosmetics.com. Shona turned me on to BH Cosmetics. Awesome freaking palettes for dirt cheap. This palette right here was only $16, Ione. It was, it's from ColourPop. So if you go to ColourPop.com, this one's only $16. And here, I'll open it again for you guys. It's only 16 bucks and it's got gorgeous colors. Gorgeous colors. I actually have these two matte purples on. Uh, this one as my all over eye color and then this and this one as a topper. And this was only $16. Uh, but it's nostalgic for me because it's the old my- Gray green would be your eyeshadow shade. I want to use a green like that works so well. Like I really want a good green eyeshadow. That pretty much, that's exactly what's going on in my house right now. Boogs is just losing his shit, running around, having a good time. I'm like a freak for like a, like a, maybe like a two-tone green or something. Like, I love this one, which was that metallic green with the iridescent over it. I want some chili. I can't make chili. Be well, I can't make chili the right way because my husband wakes out. He, I said chili. I didn't say cheese. <laughs> he won't touch beans or peas or anything of that sort. So, like, anytime he sees one, it freaks out. Does that website have foundation? Ye yes. Yes. Also, um, uh, what was the other inexpensive one that was out there? Um, 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 um. If you go on Ulta, Ulta.com right now, they have sales for certain palettes. And they're, like, anywhere from $20 to $24. For certain, like, high-priced palettes, there's sales. <gasps> Oh my God, guess what came in today? Okay, so you guys know I wanna do a raffle on Facebook. And on Facebook, what it is is, um, if you're in the States, then you like say pay $3 in for a spot. You go on, you go through you know the person's uh, like friends and family, PayPal, you put $3 in to, to buy your spot. They put your name under a number. Then they go to randombergenerator.com and they roll the numbers, say there's like 62 spots. And as soon as those spots are, are bought up, they go ahead and they hit the number generator and they run those numbers. Whoever wins, wins the whole raffle, right? So I have been picking up stuff for a raffle to do on my Facebook for everybody. And uh, I may do it tonight. I, I think I'd like to do it tonight. I got mermaid tail blankets. So they came in today and they're awesome. I love them. I absolutely love the mermaid tail blankets. Like I really, man, I am so, I'm probably going to stock them in my store. I think I'm gonna start stocking them in my store.
She's looking for like really inexpensive though, Shauna. Limelight is more like a, it's like you know, like a thirty-five dollar one. She's looking for like you know, like a six dollar one. First time ever doing makeup. You can always try the Wet n Wild foundation. Um, that's like six. But I will tell you, if you want to get an amazing eyeshadow that even the pros use, the Limelight eyeshadows are only, what are they? They're only $12 a shadow, and you only need, like, three or four. And you can create, like, every look with those shadows. Like, you can buy, like, a four quad and spend $12 a shadow, the same as you would spend on, like, high-end Urban Decays or Max or anything like that, and have the same makeup that pros use, where if you, I don't have my case out here right now, it's in the bedroom, but if you tap the eyeshadow, that's all you need. Like, they're so freaking pigmented that they're actually 50% pigmented, this limelight stuff that I'm talking about. Uh, limelight makeup. If you, if you get on Facebook and you PM Shauna, she'll teach you all about it. It's like you have to find a consultant to purchase this stuff. Um, she sells it, and I bought a bunch of it from her. And I'm telling you, man, the eyeshadow, I tap it, and I get my whole thing. Like, all of my, my big shit. <laughs> all covered. Yeah, like, the if, if you want to get a couple of shadows, say, you know, just to have forever, I would say try the limelight ones. But if you just want to get, like, a big colorful palette, BH Cosmetics, uh, I know Morphe's kind of cheap, ColourPop is cheap and really good. That's this brand that does this one. Um, they also have a rose palette out right now that I want. Do you ever see Laura Lee's scandals on her Cat's Meow palette? Well, ColourPop has the pretty much same shit. They came out with it first. And, uh... Is Amy losing her shit because I was able to find those unicorn fruit loops? <laughs> I have no idea. I haven't spoken to Amy today. It's weird, we usually talk every single day, me, Amy, and Shauna, but I haven't talked to her today. She's been having a bad toothache. So I haven't had a chance to talk to her yet. Oh, see, Alex is att attached to the Limelight skincare products. I actually tried the two samples that Shauna sent me, and it burned. But it burned because I wasn't used to it at all. I'm used to just taking the sugar scrub, scrubbing everything on my face, and taking soap and getting it all off. And then putting a lotion on, you know, like a facial moisturizer on. And that's it. Sometimes I'll even forget the goddamn facial moisturizer. But because my skin was, like, so fresh from sugar scrubbing and stuff... <laughs> um, it actually burned my skin. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. This skin polish shit feels good. Like, I washed off the skin polish afterwards. And it felt amazing. But I'm thinking the only reason it must have burned like that is because I had been, for the past like three days straight, really hitting that sugar scrub on my face hardcore. So I'm definitely going to go and buy the skin polish because I love the way it felt after. Like I really got a kick out of the way my skin felt. It kind of was like taut, you know, like here and like here where I wanted it to be. And uh, it, it just felt like better and it part started pulling up blemishes around my face. Like, literally, it pulled up this one right here, it pulled up one down here, um, one right here. I didn't know I had these fucking pimples. Don't worry, Skin Polish did it. Found them, you know, sorted them out, arrested them. Now they're just serving time on my cheek. Eventually, they will uh, be released, you know. <laughs> but uh, I have no cover-up on today because I wanted to give my skin a break for the day. And the samples that Shona sent out were actually pretty damn good. Because I got enough in that that I could have used it twice. But I just went piggish and went crazy with the ones. Oh, you haven't tried the skin polish yet? Oh man, I so want that one. Mm -hmm. I'm just, right now I'm scrimping on money because I gotta get bugs a whole bunch of winter clothes. So I'm holding back on spending money right now. And it's a shame because there's so much shit that I want. But I gotta hold back. <laughs> Yeah, you can't eat it. I, I attempted. It smells good. It smells like food, you know? Like, it's all lemony, and it smells like an ice pop. What is Sotox? What is Sotox? Um, Corinne, I wanted to do some new... Are you interested in making shower jellies? I'll send them to you when I learn how to make them. 
Oh, awesome. You know what you do? Um, I mean, you can come up with your own recipe and everything, but in order for it to uh, last, like, and not, like, go bad in a day or two because it's jello, go on Nature's Garden or Brambleberry.com and buy the kit. And that kit will actually help you get started so you can learn how to do it, you know? But the kits are good because they have the uh, thing in it that will preserve it. So that way it doesn't go like like bad when you try and chip it. Because if not, you would have to keep the shower jellies in a refrigerator at all times. Because it's jelly. You know, it's jello. So don't just go straight with using like regular jello. <laughs> but uh, the kits are awesome to start with, Ioni. And they're, they're kind of inexpensive. They're not that, that expensive. Um, bubble bars, too, are cool. Like, if you ever get into bubble bars and sell, like, kits of, like, like, they sell a kit to how to make a bubble bar. They also sell bath bomb kits, too. Um, yeah, see, Willow bought the, uh, the kit when she was learning how to do bath bombs. That's how a lot of people start. They buy the kit, and then they say, oh, well, I can substitute this for this, and this for this, and this for that, and then before you know it, you got your own recipe. Later on tonight, when my husband gets home, because... Right now, it's a little hard to, like, you know, have a serious talk with you guys. But I want to have a serious chat with you guys later on tonight about something. Um, it's not, it has nothing to do with me. Well, it kind of does, because it's a very dear friend of mine. But I wanted to have a serious chat with you guys later on this evening. So if everybody can, like, you know, make, a, make themselves available for me, I'd greatly appreciate that. Or even watch the replay later on tonight. Um, I really, I want to go live and I want to sit down and talk to you guys in the office alone about something. Uh, I remember I said it to you, I know I said it to you guys like yesterday, but I really, uh, like want your attention, like wholeheartedly. And I know I never really come out and say, hey, I need you guys to give me your attention, this, that, 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 that. it's kind of just hanging out and having a good time. But, uh, yeah, I really need your attention tonight, so. If, why, what are you eating daddy's shirt for? But I will be on later on tonight. Uh, I'm thinking, Sean, about what time tonight? You think about 6? You think you'd be done with the chili and everything? Because I'd like you to be available, too. So, like, around 6 my time, maybe? Or maybe even a little bit earlier? Yeah, I mean, it's not mandatory, you know? It's like you guys don't have to be around, but... I need a moisturizer, Shauna. I definitely need a moisturizer. Uh, if the winter's coming in... And I'm going to get so choppy on my whole forehead and my face that I won't be able to use um, cover-up. That's why I stay away from it during the winter because I'm so dry. Don't kill Jack-Jack. He's beating Jack-Jack up. I have all my Nightmare Before Christmas decorations and stuff all out. And this is going right in the camera. Yeah, I mean, if you're in, you know, if you're not in the States and you're asleep, don't worry. Just If you could, just watch the replay for me. I would greatly appreciate that. Yeah, if anybody can't make it, like, around maybe, like, 5.30-ish, 6.00-ish, my time, don't worry about it. Just remember that there was something I wanted to talk to you guys about, and if you could, um, I don't know if I could use that Dream Bomb collection, but I'll try. I mean, hey, I'll try anything. But, uh, just keep in mind that there was something that I wanted to bring up to you guys, and, uh, just watch the replay, you know? Did you just hear that? That loud bang? I just heard that loud bang. I don't know what that was, but there's a loud bang, and it came from underneath of me. And it wasn't my kid. My small gremlin. What is, what did Sarah call him? Um, I got a friend on Facebook named Sarah, and she put up this attention thing. Now, does Quench Cleanse come in a whole collection, like? Because if I'm going to use one facial product, I kind of want to keep them all in the same realm. So I'm not, say, using one for oily skin, one for dry skin, one for pimples, one for this, one for that. Because I don't really have much of a hard time when it comes down to acne, but since I use that, it brought up everything that was laying dormant under my skin. So that's why I'm like, oh shit, man, you know? I want to try and keep it all in the same family, <laughs> you know? Yep. Okay, good. Yep. So, yeah, sometime this evening, Tony, I wanted to uh, jump on again and talk, but I, I want to wait for Richie to come home so I can give you his, like, wholehearted attention, not have to keep doing this every 10 minutes because I'm watching the gremlin. 
But Sarah on Facebook put this thing up and it said, uh, attention ladies, uh, if your crotch gremlins are sick, please keep them out of school until they are better. Uh, something else, something else, something else. And then she wrote on the bottom, because I'm trying to keep my crotch gremlins from being sick and bring it home to me. And she kept referring to children as crotch gremlins. And I don't know why, but I kind of laughed my ass off at that one. I was, I've never heard of somebody referring to their children. It has a duo or a collection. Okay, awesome. I've never heard of somebody referring to their, to their children as crotch gremlins. But it, like, tickled me. I was hysterical. I was like, crotch gremlins, what the fuck is a crotch? And then I realized what she was talking about. Like, she's talking about children, you know? <laughs> I've never heard anybody refer to their kids as a crotch gremlin. Right? Everybody's going to start using it now. I did a old YouTube channel and created a new one. I subscribe to you again. I don't want you to get on the sky. <laughs> no problem. Uh, in all honesty, I have not... Did you hear that just now? What is that coming from? Shauna, you have great ears. Did you just hear that? I don't know where that's coming from, but there's like... I don't know, like glass being broken and shit, man. Like, that's creepy. Tell you the truth, I have not looked at my subscriber list or numbers or anything like Yeah, right? Welcome to Staten Island. Home of the dumb subscribers, and I'm like, woohoo! Okay, you know, like it, it's not really, I don't know, it really, the channel was never really about the number, it was just more about people that you meet and you hang out with and have a good time. So I, it just slips my mind to even look at it. So if somebody like unsubscribes or resubscribes or something like that, I never even know. I, just, I don't even pay attention. I'll try to watch your life later. Okay. The best contagion connection why I work. Okay, Allie, no problem. You know, there's always a replay. Uh, and I'll try and keep it, you know, the, the initial, what I want to talk about later, short and sweet in the beginning, so that way you guys don't have to watch a whole video later. You can just let it play or something, you know, for just hearing. You know what I mean. What? Put that wire down. Do not touch it. It is the Wi-Fi. Drop it. Oy. Girl, I love that damn thing. I really do. It's literally sitting on my desk in my office, and I'm in my office like every day. I have to go spend a lot of time tonight in my office redoing it, because if I don't spend a lot of time in my office tonight redoing it, we have nowhere to open oysters tomorrow. <laughs> I have a lot of um, old, some more of the $5 jewelry. Um, Miss Vicky wanted some wanted some pieces that I still had, so I was like, okay. So that paparazzi uh, accessories that I sell, where everything's five dollars, I. Well, that's weird, Shauna. <laughs> now she signed on to the other one. Okay, awesome. Um, but I uh, uh I'm a fraud. What the fuck was I talking about, guys? I know, right? Today's perfect friggin' weather, and it was freezing a few days ago. This is my podcast channel. How do you do a podcast? What exactly is a podcast? I, I'm not too sure about licking them, but um, thanks. <laughs> I drew them on myself. It's just eyeshadow on my eyebrows. I just I filled them in. They're really patchy and, and fucked up. Thank you. <laughs> I've never heard anybody say that that I want to uh, lick your eyebrows, but okay. <laughs> Didn't mention last time I do live in Rosebank. I figured yeah, I figured you were down in Rosebank. You know when I was younger, that's all I did was hang out in Rosebank. Um, this, there was like a little gas station next to a hotel, I can't really even remember, but it's right by the bridge, and I used to hang out at that little gas station because my boyfriend's house, uh, was about one block up. Yeah, I was always on Bay Street. <laughs> Plus, we had all the clubs and the bars and everything were down there. It's like a compliment. <laughs> You're good, don't worry about it. I've just never heard that before. That was definitely one I've never heard. <laughs> Mine will have video though. So when you do a podcast, 
you're just doing what I'm doing now, basically, just like like lively filming. Or is podcast done on like a program? That's not just. That's my cue. I wasn't blowing it out the window. Yeah, yeah, I'm a bad mother. <laughs> oh, but it's all audio, but it's live. Oh, okay. So you, it's just gonna be like, I'm gonna have a segment called Between Best Friends. Yeah, that's good, okay. The Alice Austin House, oh my God. Come on, buddy. Come on up here. No? Okay, no. No. What? Is this the Halloween ones? You don't want to watch it? Hang on, I gotta change the YouTube fan. That's where I did my first video. You know where you gotta go? Do you? Alright. Do you remember Seaview? The old Saint Asylum? Uh, parts of it are still available, like there's still, you can still get on the grounds because that's where the nursing home is now. But uh, you can still get on the grounds of Seaview. Here, how about this one? The jungle. That would make an awesome story. If you've ever looked up Seaview on YouTube, you can see like the haunted places on Staten Island. Uh, Seaview comes up, the conference house comes up. Um, right behind Wagner High School is Seaview. If you can get on those grounds and just walk around a little bit, well, you'd have to go during the day, though, because if you go during the night, you'll never find your way back out again. That would make an awesome, like, around Staten Island type deal, because those are all... Because it was the old tuberculosis, ho tuberculosis hospital slash a saint asylum. And the reason... Call it a vlog. A vlog. Yeah, do vlogs. Vlogs. That would be cool. Um... The whole reason that if you go into Seaview and you can't find your way back out, when they turned it into an insane asylum, they made it a giant maze. So that way, if somebody got out of the asylum, because that was like the home of the criminally insane, if somebody got out of the asylum, they couldn't find their way out to civilization. So that was the whole reasoning for it. Could you please put that down? Thank you. What goes? Oh, man. <laughs> this, this kid is definitely going to be one of those that walks around with like a broken arm like, hey, ma. <laughs> I'm dreading the day that he goes out on like bikes and skateboards and shit. For senior cut day? <laughs> we used to throw keg parties in uh, on CV grounds when we were, you know, when we were teens. Uh, and I remember going there with my sister Kelly. Um, she was pregnant with my nephew at the time. She was like five months pregnant. And her twin, which is Melissa, who's dead now, she passed away. But uh, I had the twins with me, my friend Adam, my friend Adam was driving, and then my older sister, Christine. And we were all there, we went in, hung out for a little while. Um, I think we were actually there with my nephew's dad too. I think my nephew's dad was there, I'm not sure. But we all went, we all hung out, and uh, then we were leaving. And Adam could not find his way out. So we were driving around in circles on the grounds of Seaview for about an hour. And he was almost out of gas, and all of a sudden, like, poof, there it was, the exit. We had just out of nowhere. And I remember Kelly was freaking out, and she was like, look, 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 the baby's moving. Because she was, like, 90 pounds soaking wet. And you could see the belly, and you could see the baby, like, moving and everything and wigging out in there because she was so panic-stricken. It was funny as hell, though. But, uh, man, it was so creepy. It was the first time I ever got scared being there. And we partied so much out there, like between the conference house, between Seaview, like all the K parties, the small Penny Beach. You were, do you know where Penny Beach is? We used to go throw keg parties over on Penny Beach. And then uh, me and my sister's ex, her, well, her son's father, my nephew's dad, would take the keg at the end of the night and throw it off the cliff back into the ocean because we didn't, you know, the guy who was hosting the party was a dick and we didn't want to get his deposit back. So we did some mean shit like that, but Penny Beach was always the spot where we'd go and, and party and hang out. All those places I have never been afraid of in my life until we got stuck on the grounds of Seaview and we couldn't drive out. There was no way to get out. But there's so many awesome memories out here. You have got to cover like all of Staten Island. There is so much fun to be had out here and so much creepy shit. Um, 
there's a couple of stories about uh, you. Now you were too young, so you wouldn't. You probably weren't even born yet. But there was one of the guys that broke out of the insane asylum, and he was uh, murdering kids out here in the '80s. Um, there's also a movie called Staten Island. Uh, it's really not accurate whatsoever. It used to be. I mean, back in the day when the mob was available and shit like that to us, that then it was accurate. But it's not like that no more. Stapleton. All right. If you go down the Stapleton, do you know where the, um, as soon as you get off the ferry, there's Stapleton Park, right? And across the street is the Methadone Clinic. Like, I, it's just how I remember where it is. But across the street is the Methadone Clinic where all the older men hang out and all the older guys. Stapleton Park is where they had, like, the most murders when I was a kid. But we used to go and party in Stapleton Park all the time because of the big gazebo and everything that was down there. Until they had all the murders and shit, and then we couldn't go down there no more because it was too scary. But that would be an awesome place because now it's safe down there. It's not, you know, it's not scary like that no more. But now it's pretty safe, so that would be an awesome place to go and show, like, parts of Staten Island and stuff like that. Because that's a really beautiful park if the junkies aren't there. So, like, if the methadone guys aren't there, you know, like, during the evening time, I would go, like, take a couple of pictures, like, around dusk. I would love to see downtown Atlanta. I really would. I've only seen... Was it Atlanta I was at? No, I wasn't in Atlanta. I was in Savannah. Savannah is where I was. Yeah, I've been to Fort Wadsworth. Oh, Mom New Tricks, what's up? Hi, Tammy. Also, next time you're in the city, Ioni, uh, uh, you gotta go into Central Park and just go to the zoo. Go show the zoo in the city. That would be an awesome video. Let me take you guys with me. Okay. That would be an awesome video, and I'm sure everybody would love to see the, uh, the zoo. That's, uh, not Staten Island, because Staten Island Zoo is nice, but it sucks. I mean, you could do that one too, but, and it's free on Wednesday if you want to just go in and walk around and take some pictures. But, uh, the Central Park Zoo. Oh, man. You so gotta do a video in the Central Park Zoo. That would be so cool. Ooh, in Stapleton is Philly's Pizzeria. It's the pizzeria that's on the corner, like, and the building is kind of like a corner. You should definitely do a video on all the great pizza of Staten Island. And then when you come here, you can go to uh, Old Town Deli right across the street. There's another pizza place. Prospect Park, right as soon as you get off the ferry. Everybody feels like that about home, probably. Wait, wait, what I forever. I used to feel that way about Staten Island. I missed it so much. I wanted to come home so bad, and then I came home. And now all I want to do is get the hell out. <laughs> I really, I, I have no desire to be here. I don't, this is not the life I want. I like, I want to be down south with a damn farm and have fun. I saw the video of the big pumpkin patch. Okay, so here, all right. I even wrote the comment on that. I'm on Facebook earlier. You gotta go to Ellen B's. Ellen B's in Brooklyn is the original Spumoni ice cream and the original shitty, I don't like the pizza, but the Spumoni ice cream that's there is freaking amazing. The pizza though is Sicilian pizza with the mozzarella underneath and the tomato sauce on the top. Kind of like a Chicago pie, but it's gross. Don't, don't fuck with the pizza. Just go to Ellen B's and get Spumoni ice cream. You will love it. Um, okay, so the Dollar Bath Bomb Company. Here's the kicker. All right, we're on 4G, guys. The kid went ahead and, and kicked out the, uh... Don't cry! You did it! Now it's got to restart itself. There we go. There we go again. Um, it's going to be a shitty connection, guys. I'm sorry. My 4G is sucking ass right now. Hang on, baby. It's gotta come back on. You gotta wait a minute. Sorry. What the hell were we talking about? I forgot what the hell I was talking about when the kid unplugged the Wi-Fi again. 
This is why a husband should listen to his wife, because I told my husband over and over again, leave the table in front of the plug because he is going to unplug it again. Oh, dollar bath bombs. All right, you're going to hear my kid wig the hell out because I'm waiting for the Wi-Fi to kick back up so he can watch his, uh, his thing again. Um, I'm going to do it. You just got to wait for Wi-Fi to come back on, kiddo. Uh, TV dependency issues. DollarBathBomb.com. When they first came out, we told them nobody can sustain a business on a dollar bath bomb. Even if you are ripping people off with shipping, nobody can sustain a business that way. It's not going to happen. So, of course, they can't sustain a business that way. They don't know. They no longer have dollar bath bombs. Their bath bombs start off as the classics at $2, and then they go up to 7 and so forth and so forth on, you know? So, I'm going to take you to get a bottle to get this kid a bottle. So what happened, they now are doing a giveaway and they have this awesome bath bomb. It's like a pumpkin bath bomb. It's cool as shit. But unfortunately, here we go. Unfortunately, they don't sell it on the site. So I'm on there and I'm thinking, you're going ahead and you're listening to me wash out a bottle. You're going ahead and you're putting up a bath bomb that you don't sell on your site. It's an amazing looking bath bomb, but you're not selling it. So what are you, false advertising shit now? So now you have a gorgeous looking bath bomb that's not your bath bomb. You don't sell dollar bath bombs anymore. So what's the deal? I don't know, I just don't understand what they're trying to do by showing a product that you don't sell you know and that's that's your whole gimmick for how you're going to sell uh your bath bombs i don't understand hang on a minute guys i'm doing it right now buddy right now chocolate wasted here it comes watch out Watch out, I'm trying to add the syrup. Okay. Add him on his way. Close the door, close the door. Okay, so what I'm thinking is either they're falling apart No, I don't even think you can win it. The tissue just go. I just have my hand. Here, I'll just get it off. I don't even think you can win it. Here, baby. Hey, love. Here, chug milk. Go. I don't think you can win it. I don't think. Oh shit! I love that place. You know what my favorite thing from there was? Tri-colored cookies. That was my favorite. Um, and the cannolis. Okay, so you guys are kind of crooked. Look, it's a window and it's not above my head. <laughs> so I don't understand what Dollar Bath Bomb is trying to do because as far as I knew, from what I was reading, you couldn't even win that bath bomb. You could win bath bombs, but shit. Hey, get away from there. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. No, no, we don't play in here. Out of my kitchen. Come on, out of my kitchen. Let's go. Over here. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Over this way. This way. Come here. Oh, Jesus. Oh. There you go. <sighs> okay. He learned how to turn the knob. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later. He just turned the knob on the stove, so now I have to buy stove protector thingies today. Yeah, mommy just ran to get you away from the damn stove. You crazy baby. Come up here and lay down. Anywho, um, 
so when I was reading on Facebook, I couldn't find where, what, which product you were winning or what bath bomb you were winning. But they kept saying, no, they don't sell it in their stores or, you know, so you don't have dollar bath bombs. You don't have the bath bomb you're advertising in your store, but you're advertising it. Like, I don't, I just don't get dollar bath bombs any longer. I, um, okay, when you had dollar bath bombs, that was awesome. That was great. You know, we all told you you weren't going to be able to sustain a business on a dollar bath bomb. They cost more than a dollar to make. That shit, what I press. Okay, nothing. You know, so I just don't get the company. I don't know. You know, when they approached me back when with, you know, how did you like the product and this and that, da da da. Yeah, it was cool, but you can tell that it was a very cheap fragrance oil because it was one of those migraine oils that they were using. So it was a cheap fragrance oil and uh, it wasn't for me. Uh, far be me to deny anybody else, but it just wasn't for me. When it's too good to be true, it usually is, yeah. I mean, I thought it was cute. They came out with, you know, they were smaller bath bombs in basic flavors, but the flavors were just way too strong. I literally let mine air out for a few months, and then I was able to use them. They actually were a, um, like a fragrance booster in my house. Yeah, I mean, they went off pretty, too. Like, I even still have two of them. I still have two from last year. They went off really pretty, too, but the, the fragrance oils were so, they were so cheap. You could just tell it was a very cheap fragrance oil, and it was very strong, and it hurt. Yeah, see, now all their bath bombs are $2, and they're, they're like your mini bombs. So, yeah, so that's a good, you know, that's a good price, but talking about fragrance oils, I found a place in the UK that sells Yagnog dupe in the UK, so happy. Ooh. Yeah, I did make Eclipse, but it wasn't a dollar. They also made some ring bombs, which I thought, hey, ring bombs, that's a great gimmick. You know, not anything really special, basic ring jewelry, you know, basic costume jewelry. And those bathrooms are like $8. Other people for ring bombs charge anywhere from 15 to $20, you know, and then you can win, say, up to, you know, a $10,000 ring in them. Um, so I thought their ring bomb thing was a great gimmick. And I was like, that's awesome. That's cool. So you get a pretty little ring, you know, nothing really amazing. Guys, give me one second. I'm going to flick my Wi-Fi back on, okay? So we get a better connection. Back on. It might take a moment. Oh wow, now I'm running off both. Okay. Wait, I missed the comment. What are you saying? My mermaid jewels will have ring bombs soon. Yes, my company is going to be doing um, uh, party bombs. Party bombs, basically. But I want to do party bombs the way you take the party bomb home. I don't want to do it in a bowl on camera for you. I want you to take your bath bomb home and get your ring or, you know, whatever is going to be in it. Rings, necklaces, sterling silver pieces, costume jewelry, whatever it is. But, uh, yep, pretty soon my company is going to carry um, jewelry bath bombs, basically. What time is it, guys? Yep, and you'll get an awesome bath and a pretty goodie. I love bath bombs that have stuff inside them. That's a massive selling point for me. It's for you or for my time? Okay. Damn, Cheyenne, it's 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> you poor thing. But yeah, who is excited to do Pearl Party tomorrow night? I am so excited. I cannot wait. Yeah, we'll, we'll finally be on the same time zone. <laughs> It'll make life so much easier. I'm excited to do the Pearl Show tomorrow night. I always get excited. Every Saturday morning, I'm like, I gotta do the Pearl Show tonight. I was thinking about maybe doing it a little more often um, on my Facebook. You know, and just maybe going on whenever the hell I feel like it and doing some sort of partying. Oh, I'm in the same boat, Tony. It's just fun just to hang out. 
It's basically like we're doing this. I'm just opening smelly, wet dog smelling pearls. <laughs> And spinning a wheel. I want to bring back poke a piggy or pluck a pig. What was it? It was called pluck a pig, right? I'm thinking about bringing that back. Yeah, Shauna has a, what is it called again, Shauna? Limelight, Limelight Alcohol by Shauna or something? What's the name of the Facebook group? I was debating buying another set of squeaky piggies and doing a show where you can actually take your piggy home. Because they're just cute little gimmicky things. Card wheat. Oh, can't wait for yours to arrive. Yes, yours should be the, I'm hoping Customs puts it right through because I listed what every piece of everything that was inside every order that is leaving the country. I wrote every little thing that's in it So on the Customs form. So that way the Customs will just put it right through. Because I had sent Tony a package and it got there super quick because I, in detail, wrote it all down. But then the package that I had sent him prior to that, it took a couple more weeks. And I'm like, what the hell? Because I didn't write it all down in detail. And they were confused at what was in it. So, now I've learned when I'm sending stuff out of the country to make sure I in detail write what's in it. You know, pearl, what size it is, what color it is, what jewelry is in there. Like, everything got written down. I don't, I don't want to mess around with the postal company no more. <laughs> the, the Customs is rough. I've had Customs, when I was going hardcore with Lush, Corinne, have you ever been to Snug Harbor? Hell yeah, I used to play Little League there. The Rose Garden is my favorite part there. They told me that there is a technical delay on packaging. That's why even my package, my oysters that are supposed to be coming in today are coming in tomorrow. So that's what I'm seeing everywhere. There's some sort of technical problem delay. So I guess everybody's stuff is gonna be a little delayed. Plus now holiday shipping has now started. So holiday things is gonna, everything takes a little bit longer. That's why I tell everybody, it's normally anywhere from two to three weeks before you get your stuff. Just to cover, it never really takes that long, but just to cover my ass in case it's holiday shipping or postal service takes a little bit longer or maybe customs is taking a little bit longer. At least, you know, you know, it's on its way. Peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. Sorry, I have the peanut butter and jelly palette as well. And I've almost hit pan in the purple. Because for the longest, I didn't realize the only way to get that purple shade to look that color was to use your finger and then put it on your eye, you know? I was taking a brush over and over and over and over and over again and trying to pack it on and did not freaking think about using my finger like I do with the ColourPop shadows. And then Shauna, a while back, had bought me a bunch of ColourPop goodies and uh, I was trying all the shadows like at 4 o'clock in the morning. What was it, last night, I think it was? Shona, when did we hang up early? It was last night, right? This is things being sent to my own country. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was last night at like 4 a.m. I was up with this gorgeous like blue shade from ColourPop, man. I, man, I was Mimi all over again from the Drew Carey show. It was everywhere. I mean, I, I turned around to Richie and I was like, what do you think? He was like... <laughs> I was just playing around, having a good time. <laughs> but I liked the blue shadow so much, it was so pretty, that I had stuck it not only here, but all the way up here. And I was like, look, I could be Mimi for Halloween. <laughs> Bug, stop with the bottles. Oh, God. This is definitely gonna be one of them bad kids. Wait, what are you doing? What's up? You want more chicken? I made him chicken for lunch. What are you doing, dude? Bath paint? You mean the Crayola shit? I want to try that stuff. The Crayola bath paint. Because when I was a kid, you know, like the Crayola bath crayons and stuff? <gasps> it's my favorite. But of course, you know, 
you have to grow up. I don't want to grow up. But I want to get the Crayola Beth paints. I want to play with those. He, he'll play with, um, like, certain products. Like, he'll play in the foam of the bath bombs. And, uh, like, he came in, when I did the brain, he came in and there was some foam left in the side. And he just, like, reached over in my tub and was, like, playing in foam and shit. And I'm like, you want to get in the bath? I mean, he was just weird. But, uh, he also likes the fun, the fun Play-Doh-y stuff from lunch. But then he tries to eat it. So I have to watch what he's doing. Bubbles? He eats bubbles. No matter what. He'll just... You know, to eat the bubbles. So I have to watch everything he's doing, but uh, I want to pick up those. I want to pick up a bunch of like the Crayola bath kits and see what he does when I actually like paint him up. I put his Halloween costume on him the other day, and oh, it was the funniest fucking thing in the world. He's a bat. So I put his Halloween costume on the other day, and we stuck him in front of a mirror so you could see what he looked like. You know, how most kids want to rip the hoods off and take it all off and everything. Edible bubble machines. Oh, I, oh, you know something? We were thinking about that. I packaged a midnight mint soaps today. Woohoo! I can't wait to freaking. Oh, man. Mint is my favorite. It's one of my favorite smells. Um, I may do the Lush uh, Thunder. What is it called? Thunder one? It's supposed to smell like chocolate and mint, but really just kind of smells like the Butterball bath bomb. Um, I may do that one tonight, which you guys would see that Tuesday. Um, the two front teeth bubble bar you'll see on Monday. And tonight's video is the bath bomb Christmas sweater one. I like scheduling them out. Sometimes it's fun to do them, like, you know, right after, you know, as soon as I'm done, put them up. But then I kind of, like, they don't get up to, like, 3 in the morning. And what's the point of doing that? Ain't nobody wake at 3 in the morning. Well, unless you're in the UK, then you're up at 3 my time. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bid you adieu. And, yeah, if you guys want to get involved in pearl partying tomorrow night, if you'd like to purchase a spin and win yourself some cool jewelry, I always try and keep that wheel at least 70% of sterling silver. Um, go to MyMermaidJewels.com, and uh, that's my personal jewelry shop, jewelry shop there. There's all kinds of stuff there. Uh, my opinion on the new Twilight Jelly, I think they fucked up. Uh, that new one did not look good at all. It didn't look the way it looked previous. I have still have two from the very first batch that ever went out, and they're beautiful. You can see the silvery luster through it and everything. It's gorgeous. These ones they put out, mm-mm. Uh, they put them out in the kitchen before the kitchen closed. Now that the kitchen is closed down, though, uh, they bring them back retro, which failed once before. So, I don't know. I guess let's give it a go again and see if it fails again. Um... It's going to be very hard to get product, so I'm selling off most of my kitchen shit. I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm going to sell off my Butterball shower gels. I have some stuff listed, listed on my Facebook now. I just sold my Tuka Tuka massage bar. Um, that was actually my second one because I have my first one, which I still have half of it left, so I figured I'm never going to get through the other one. So whatever I haven't gotten through or I've just had in my collection, I'm just selling it off. But I do everything as a... You know, as shipped products, so your shipping cost is always included in it. So I put something up for $15. That's probably because I'm paying 5 to $6 to ship it to you, and you're paying like $8 for the product, you know? Or so forth and so on and so forth. Give me all the snow fairy. I only have one snow fairy item, and I'm keeping it. Um, <laughs> sorry, Tony, love you, but I love my snow fairy too. You know that. You send me snow fairy. <laughs> um... Oh, whoa, you guys are going to be shocked of my thoughts of the new Lord of Misrule. You are really going to be shocked of my thoughts on that one. That video is probably going to come up sometime this weekend where I compare the both of them. And my cigarette went out. God damn it. But, uh, no, honey, I didn't see it. Let me go back up. Um, actually, I'd have to say no on that one because we're not really going to be doing anything. Um, I'm going to take him to, like, my brother's house and, like, my brother's neighbor. But then we're just going to go hang out at my brother's place for the night because he's, he's just too little to, like, want to be out and do stuff. So it's, it's kind of just, we're just going to be at my brother's place. Yeah, my brother's neighbor wants to see what he looks like. I'm going to take him maybe to, like, one or two houses in the complex there because my brother lives in a, in a community over by the mall. 
And then that's it. We're just gonna go back to my brother's and order pizza and relax for the night. We may even just crash at my brother's house for the night because I don't really want to drive Halloween night. It's not, you got all the young kids up, up here. On the, now that I'm on the South Shore, all the young rich kids up here are drunk driving around or high as kites driving around and I'm nervous when I come down to holidays and driving. So we may just sleep at my brother's house that night. No snow fairy jelly bombs, no. It was cool, it was a cool concept. I liked it, but Oh, I'll definitely take pictures. I even I want to take some video and put it on YouTube too because it's the first Halloween that he's actually going to be able I go to Toad Hill for the candy bars. <laughs> we used to do that too cuz Toad Hill is like, you know, the most priciest place. I can't wait for you to do the yummy, yummy, yummy fragrance. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go, or we're going to be talking all day. Um, but, yes, later on this evening, I do have something I want to bring up to you guys that's kind of uh, near and dear to my heart. And uh, I want to talk to you guys about it later on tonight. But I want to make sure that if you can't get on, it's, it's not like a mandatory thing or nothing like that. You don't have to get on. If you can't get on, just if you guys would uh, watch the replay, I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, that'll be later on this evening. So, um... Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later on this evening. And again, if you'd like to purchase a spin for tomorrow night, while there are still are a few available, it is mymermaidjewels.com. And you can jump on, or you can just purchase the product itself. And we can open it tomorrow night for you guys. Okay. Yeah, Cheyenne, it's late now. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Um, I think Richie gets off at like 4, 4.30, so I'm thinking maybe like 5.36-ish. I'll go live for a little while in my office, and uh, we'll talk... And then I have to uh, clean out my office and continue putting all my Lush stuff up. I'm also selling Lush um, ginger perfume, my actual bottle of perfume. I'm selling that off as well because I just wasn't happy. I might be selling almost everything off just to get rid of it because if I haven't used it, I'm probably not going to use it. And instead of letting it rot in collections, I think I'm going to sell my collection. I think that's it. I'm pretty much done with it. But, uh, okay, we'll talk more about it tonight. I love you all, and I will see you later. And those of you that just can't make it, I still love you. And uh, if you think about it, watch that replay. And uh, have a good night, and I will talk to you guys in uh, a couple hours. Maybe like, you know, 5.36-ish. Give Richie a little time to get home, get in the shower, and then you can watch the baby for me. So, bye, guys. <laughs>